feelings. I love you. You're great. You're my pick to win this all. No hard feelings. I love you. Okay. Uh, Four has a secret advantage. He won it. Alante has a secret advantage. Whatever. Uh, Jorge, Athena, they're together. I can't believe Carlos put me in that situation. I even, I didn't even vote for him and he exposed me like that. Love y'all. Like, why? Why would you do that? There's no need. You feel like it's gonna hurt your game in the future? Um, I really don't think this, like, ruins anything because I'm like cuckoo cooing with a bunch of other people too so I'm good exact reason why I'm getting them out the dude knows how to play this game now I'm gonna like double target two people call me out um, I'm done I will say I don't think any of you should trust Jorge Jorge has a secret advantage he won it Alante has a secret advantage this man just exposed me <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do now All's fair in love and war, honey, so... Players are competing for a one-of-a-kind prize package from our sponsor, Slater's Alaskan Dumpling. You made it to the final 11, and it's time for your next challenge. This is the More or Less Challenge. When I say go, you will be able to flip over your picture, study it, and study it well, because you'll be asked questions. The answer will either be more or less. You get it correct, move on to the next round. We'll continue this until we have a winner. So in this challenge, whenever Wes says go, they're gonna flip some newspapers over and we have to study them. Then we have to answer questions about the newspapers that we study. The answer will either be more or less. If you get it correct, you get to stick around, but if you get it wrong, you're out. But first, Two of you can sit out if you want, and if you choose to sit out, you get a secret advantage. The other person will get an expose. Here's how this works. I will say go, you will close your eyes and bow your heads. When I say reveal, raise your hand if you want it. If you do, you opt out of this challenge with the Dr. Totem Ball. But, you get a choice of secret advantage or exposed. Okay? Make sense? So, there's a twist in the round, and if you want, you can take a secret advantage or an exposed power and sit out of the challenge part of the, uh, the round. Everyone close your eyes, fire your heads. As of right now, I've got a lot of friends in the game, uh, not a whole lot of enemies. I know there may be some people gunning for me, but um, I think I would rather take my chances with the secret advantage uh, rather than with the challenge because odds are my memory's not that great. And so not counting on pulling out the dub in this. So I'm leaning towards the secret advantage card. If you want a secret advantage or an expose, raise your hand now. Okay. Everyone can look up. Jace, what do you want? Over here and get it. All right. Just go take a seat over in the living room. My secret advantage card says that I can block somebody's vote. Go. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh. <laughs> the totem. Oh, that's so poop.
This is actually really cool. Like, this is all totem pole stuff, so I'm excited to see it, to play this game. I'm looking down at this piece of paper, and I'm noticing that there's a lot of repetitive natures throughout it, so I'm just reading it down, trying to figure out how many times multiple things are mentioned. I see these newspapers, I think this might be in my wheelhouse, you know. I've got a little experience with newspapers. Um, so I'm looking at them, I'm seeing headlines, I'm seeing photos, I'm paying attention to the little graphic details at the top on the masthead, so I'm perusing the paper, I'm seeing what it's got going on. So I'm looking at this paper, right, because we have to memorize different parts of the picture and say more or less. So I'm thinking, okay, look at people's faces, look at names, how many things are being repeated. You're just looking at all those tiny little details because you know they're going to choose the most ridiculous thing. One, left, look away. Everyone grab a more or less card. I knew as soon as I saw those cards on the table, we were going to have to memorize everything. So I put all of my focus into that card, counted numbers, counted words, and everything. I was ready for those questions. Here we go. How many times does Emery appear in the photos more or less than two? Close your eyes and reveal. The answer was more. If you chose less, please step out. Oh, I didn't know if you... Oh my gosh. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be so good at this because they played this in last season. Like, this is one of the games I knew I'd be good at. Well, we go in and I'm like trying to remember all these numbers and then we play this game and none of it was anything I memorized. So, there goes that. Why do you remember me? Oh my God. <laughs> the answer was three. Pictures, words, it doesn't matter. I need to win this competition. Next question. <laughs> How many times is episode one mentioned in the stories? More or less than three? Close your eyes and reveal. The answer is more. It was four. Is it correct? How many times is the number 25 on the newspaper? More or less than four times? I know the answer to this question. I'm not dumb, but I don't want to win this challenge. I don't want to make some enemies. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the wrong answer. Close your eyes and reveal. The answer was less. It was three times. I looked at it like I didn't know what I answered. I studied that newspaper through and through. I knew the answer to every single one of those questions that was asked, but I did not want to win this challenge. That was part of my strategy. I didn't want to put someone at the top of the totem pole or at the bottom and make some enemies along the way. So I threw this challenge. Girl, I'm doing great. You should just go ahead and take your seat now. So now it's down to Athena and I, and I know I'm trying to get on her good side, but at this point I really need to beat her so I can put a launches at the bottom, try to get her out. I just hope Athena isn't mad when I win. When Nick fell in episode one, the time step was more or less than 8.45. Close your eyes and reveal. The answer was more. Congratulations, Athena. <laughs> Woo! I got it! <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she kind of sucks. She's rude. She. I, it's just the fact that she's playing this game like very aggressively that it's getting on my nerves. Um, I like her as a person. I would like to say, but like the way she's playing the game, on my nerves. And the fact that she won a game that I feel like Caleb should have won. And I feel like he may have, like, kind of gave it to her. But I definitely know she's probably going to place me at the bottom because I think she thinks I am a threat to her. All the people to win this challenge, Athena pulls it out. That girl 
If we're gonna rank in snakes, she's right there below Evan. <laughs> and uh, I know she's she's been eyeing me all game. She does not have a good feeling about me. I don't have a good feeling about her. And so not feeling good about how she's gonna rank this totem pole. Carlos just called us out. We needed this. If we didn't win this, we probably would have been out. Congratulations, Athena. You are the top of the totem pole. You are safe from elimination, but you need to place every other player on the totem pole. Okay. Athena lied to me last episode. Now she's at the top. I have good feelings she put me at the bottom to get me out. Remember, the bottom five are eligible to receive votes. Alantis? <laughs> I felt bad. <laughs> I, didn't, I wanted her to trust me again. I want Alantis out, but I'm not trying to get any enemies out here, so I'm just gonna strategically place her out there, get her good graces. She made up for her mistake real quick. <laughs> That's all I got, because she did. CJ? she's gonna put Jorge up there. good when she got to the top of the totem pole because I was pretty sure that we were working together. I put her at the top of my totem pole. We've like talked all this time. We're like friends I thought. Athena, why did you put me there? Rats. I hate being in the bottom. Literally, like, people know that we have this alliance and they're just out to get us. Like, all of my people, you put at the bottom together, this doesn't help me. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen, but I mean, I don't think, I, I mean, honestly, I think I'm safe. I think I've made friends and I think people like me enough that they're not gonna vote for me. So I'm not really worried about being in the bottom. Jace, you are the bottom of the totem pole. Okay. I know Jace is good. Jace is my biggest competition out here. Alright, so I'm trying to get him gone. Um, don't really care about the rest of the people. I don't really see them as anything. Um, yeah, so that's why, why I'm doing what I'm doing. So, Jace is at the bottom of the totem pole, where he should be. And let me tell you, I am so happy. This boy needs to go. Evan and Carlos decided on a switch. And they selected... Oh my God. I keep forgetting that they chose. <laughs> All right, you two. We're eliminated, and now you get to pick the switch. Who do you want? Honestly, if I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna, I mean, I kinda wanna stir the pot and give it to Jorge. You kinda wanna give it? I kinda wanna give it to Alantis. Why would I want to give, well, I mean, that's fair, cause yeah. the, well, like, if we give it to Jorge, it's just gonna make people hate him more. Hmm. I feel like Ashlyn can do something with this. I think if we're, Going for between these two. Yeah. But I really want to give it to her. Uh-uh. Okay. Out of these two, who would you want? 
I think giving it to Jorge, he's not going to stir things up, but that's going to make other people upset, and so that's going to stir things up. You're giving it to Jorge? Yep. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Jorge, to be the switch. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Please step up oh my and change two oh positions. My oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on, Jorge. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking. Oh, oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh, the switch is so hard for Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm fine, Rachel, do you trust me? Okay, so Jorge wants to put me at the bottom. At this point, me and Rachel have become really close, and she's like an ally. Uh, I can trust her, but I need her to trust me. What do you mean? I will be your defender. If you... Well, I will. My strategy here is for Rachel to be at the bottom of the totem pole so I can be your defender. And I'll save you. Are you sure? I will. Shake on it? Shake on it. <laughs> okay. I trust Jorge. I do. We kind of made a deal that we would stick together at the beginning. But I want everybody to know that he is going to stand by his word, so I make him shake on it. This is good for me though, because it proves to him that I trust him, which will make him trust me further in the game. We're buddies. Alright. I'm move Rachel down. And Jace up. is the switch and he chose to switch me out of the bottom and uh, I'm still in the bottom five which isn't good but uh, I mean the dude got some points in my book for moving me out of the uh, the bottom I really appreciate it man it saved my life because I don't know what I was gonna do Rachel you are the bottom of the total you must now select a defender. They can save you or take power in the game. There are only two saves left. Okay, the two biggest rules. Never go up as a pawn and never throw a competition. I wasn't gonna do either of those, but here I am. I trust Jorge though. I don't want it to seem like I don't. So I'm gonna walk up and give it to him confidently, but inside I am screaming. <laughs> Jorge, make this. I don't really care if there's two saves left. I'm gonna save her. Turn around. Restart. Restart the round with the same top of the totem pole. Bro! Again? <laughs> there is only one save left. Everyone can bunch back up right there. Once again, you are the top of the totem pole and you must place everyone else on the totem pole from top to bottom. The bottom five are eligible for the vote. So Athena, I need you to understand that we are working together. We've been working together. I just showed a person that you trust that I trust them. You can trust me, okay? Place me at the top this time. I'm gonna put Rachel at the top. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's where I was supposed to be the first time. <laughs> um, I don't really care if Rachel stays or goes, but since she won last time and she kind of placed me high up there out of the bottom five, I'm gonna mix it around a little bit, put her up a little bit. Alright, Jorge. 
I don't really care if people know we're in alliance. This is just, I'm in the top five, so it doesn't matter. I wasn't in the bottom, but I'm not in the top. I'm right in the middle, and that's where I want to be right now. How do you feel about Athena? Do you trust her now, or do you think she's just trying to save her butt? I think Athena's just trying to save her butt from what happened last episode, but, you know, I'll give her a second chance. I mean, all she's gonna do is cry. Bro, have like a cry meter at the bottom <laughs> of every episode. Every time she starts crying, it just like fades in, fades out. Like very like nonchalant, non noticeable. <laughs> Girl, we close, right? You got me, right? You got me. She got me? She got me. And so, she places me in the top five the first time. The second time, I was placed in the bottom. I was mad, but I figured she knew what she was doing. But I was still mad. Athena has put me in the bottom once and she's done it again. Maybe this strategy of losing this challenge is not gonna work out very well. I mean, it's just clear who her top people are. Like, you having to go through and place people a second time, I mean, it's kind of frustrating because you're, you might as well just put people in the same position so that you're not trying to like show people who your alliances are, but she didn't do that, so that's dumb. It's just frustrating that my friends are in the bottom and especially my two crushes, that's rude. I thought being in the bottom five was scary, but being the very bottom of the bottom five is even scarier. I was so mad. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? We're gonna re-rank? Like, I just got out of the bottom and I'm safe. And I'm like, okay, I can handle a vote. Like, I can get over that. But then she literally does it the exact same that she did last time. Like, what was even the point of re-ranking the totem pole? You know she's not gonna change anything. She's out to get me. And I guarantee you it's about that secret advantage card I took. So now I'm really questioning that decision. Let's see how you are. You got a secret advantage, bro. I don't know what that is. Mm. I mean, like, at this point, I think Alantis is just a floater. She ain't gonna do nothing. So, now I'm going for Jace. There's a freaking re-rank on the totem pole. And she puts me on the bottom again. Are you kidding? Oh, I am done with this girl. If I can get out of here, if I make it out of this round alive, she's out. She's done. Pack your bags, because I, I am over it. This is ridiculous. It is time for the switch. Carlos and Evan made a decision. That switch came and went, and we no longer have a switch. So, we're going back to the original rules for this specific instance. The switch will be chosen by a random draw. The switch is... Ashlyn. Oh. Ashlyn, my girl. She's the uh, switch. Felt so good when they drawed her name out of all the people. Oh man, I'm really glad she got it. I got a good feeling that she might uh, she might pull me out of this one. Question. Am I allowed to switch myself and save myself? Okay. Ashley, 
You're not in jeopardy though, girl. But she's still gonna be in the But I, I'm in the boat. Ashley, please come up and change two positions on the toilet. Thank the Lord, Mama ain't going home, y'all. Like, you're gonna save yourself? Are you kidding? Like, come on, pull me out of here. Like, get me out of this tight spot. You know what I'm saying? Because you know I'm gonna help you out. You know I'm not gonna leave you high and dry on the vote. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna throw other people's votes out of, away from you. Golly, I can't believe she'd do that to me. So, I wanna get the target, and I, I wanna get it off, and I wanna place it on someone else, and I think that if I move Morgan down, it's gonna be on her. So I was right about Athena. We were good. She put me um, in the top five. And then out of nowhere, Ashlyn comes in here and switches me to the bottom. What did I ever do to her? Okay. Morgan, you were down to bottom five. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Jace, you are the bottom of the totem pole. You must now select a defender. They can either save you. Jace, you choose me, I'll save you. Or take power in the game. Choose me, I'll save you. Once I say it's gone, then we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the game. There's only one save. Oh my gosh, no. Mm -hmm. Then we know what's going to happen after every totem pole. Die! 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 Caleb, you got anything to say? I don't have anything to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's probably going to take a power. He uh, saved you before. I do not want to be in the switch position. I do not want to be in the defender position. I mean, neither do I, but I'm in the bottom five and I'm not feeling too great right now. Excuse me, girl, that's my friend. Like, no. If I'm going to get saved, like, this is my chance. I have to speak up. I mean, if like that's I, her argument, I, I would also say that. I wouldn't be saying that if I wasn't concerned. <laughs> There's no way I'm saving Jace. He's going to be out the door the second I'm safe because I know everyone else wants him gone too. But, like, I need to be safe. I'm in the bottom five for the second time, and that's not okay. Uh-uh. Can't do it. Nope. <clears throat> I know what that last save is. <laughs> I've studied this game, I know exactly what the card's gonna be, and Hannah's going home if I don't give her my, uh, if I don't make her my defender. And I can't, I can't let her go home. Uh, not right now. I mean, there's no way. I, she's gotta stay. Hannah. <laughs> Thanks, Jace. Hannah, please come up and choose a save or a power. This is the last save. So the rest of the game, all we're gonna have left are power cards. I don't know if I should take it, but Jace had my back, so. I owe it to him. There's one save left in the entire game, and I don't think anyone here is ruthless enough to use the power card, so I'm pretty sure this save is about to be taken. The next to bottom player is eliminated. But I'm so confused, I don't know what's about to happen. Do I go home? Is Morgan going home? Is Jace going home? I don't know what's going on. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. no. Hannah, you are the next to bottom player on the totem pole. You would be eliminated, but you are the defender and you have immunity. I'm the next to bottom player, but I'm the defender and I have safety, so I'm not going anywhere. So, you're not eliminated. And this has voided it. You're also safe from the vote, but we still have to lose two players. So, 
the bottom five are up for the vote, with the exception of Hannah, and two players will be voted oh out. Oh my gosh. Two people have to go home though, so we have to vote for two people. No. Like, actually, Morgan's not going home. It's gonna be a heavy vote. And I was like, Urgh! my plan's been foiled. Nope. <laughs> just when I think I got it figured out, Wes, you just like throw it up. We are going to the vote. We need to lose two players. Jace. Jace. Why? Now we have to vote out two more people. Two. And one of them could be me. So, the bottom five are up for the vote. Jace, Morgan, Caleb, or Valentino will be eliminated. Two of the four will be out. You have a limited amount of time to strategize. Good luck. At this point, it's all I can do not to burst out in anger. We have to vote two people out out of the four left to vote. My odds are not looking good, but I'm not going down without a fight. I only have to vote out two people, and because of what I did with the Defender, necklace rather than Morgan going home it makes it a heavy vote and I'm so mad if I'd have known it had been a heavy vote I'd have just given it to Morgan send Anna home like I hate a heavy vote are you kidding me I know my name's gonna be on every single person's list and I don't know it's about to get tight it's I gotta pull out all the stops right here I'm glad I have this because honestly it's about to come in